Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, everybody? It's a wonderful July afternoon in the Bronx. The ice cream truck is blaring. The fire hydrants are bursting with water. The kids are playing. Nobody cares about COVID. We're just having a great time over here. And, uh, what better way to spend this afternoon than playing this aquaculture land? It's a tycoon kind of game. I'm feeling tycoonish today. I want to make a lot of money. I want to manage some goddamn businesses. Okay. All right. So let's get right into it. Uh, hold on a second. Fix it up so you can hear the audio. Do not hear the game audio. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, guys. I saw some people play this, and it looks pretty fun. So let me get right into it. Career mode. It's not available. So free mode. Play with your own style. With the. Okay. It easy. All right. Play with your own style mode with target to unlock all kinds, all kind of fish that are available in the game. All kind of fish that are available. All right. Uh, I don't think this uh, this guy was paying attention in English class, but that's okay. He. Uh, you can develop a game, that's more than I can do. Alright, so I'm going to start with the basics, okay? I see a lot of people starting with a lot of money, but uh, I'm just going to start with the basics. Kind of work my way up, you know? Be more realistic. Uh-huh. Game an actual kind of startup. All right. Not all of us have half a million. Work hard for a year, you might be able to save up twenty five thousand. It's realistic. Welcome to our land. Here you will live your life as a fish farmer. You will build a pond, equip it with the necessary equipment, then take care of the fishes. Make sure that your fish are in a good condition to meet the requirements of your clients and the market. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I will follow the tutorial. I don't want to get lost. Thank you for following the tutorial. You will learn some basic system of the game until you can fulfill your customer's orders. Move your camera by using WAST or panning the middle mouse button and moving the cursor to the edge of the screen and also move the camera in that direction. MMO RPG style. As a fish farmer, one of your goals is to supply customers' needs by fulfilling their orders. By completing their orders, you can also get some money and rewards too. Okay, got it. A new mail has arrived. Customers will send their request via mail. Click the mail button, open the mailbox menu. Every order mails will have expiry date. Expired mails will automatically be deleted. Make sure to check them whenever a new mail comes. Got it, got it. In this menu, you can see the order detail, including it. its fish, deadline, minimum weight, and minimum quantity. Okay. You need to make sure that you can fulfill the order before the deadline come. Deadline coming. Uh, my name is Bernard. I need 5 kg of common tilapia. I would like 
you deliver it in 29 days. All right, buddy. This per box. Pie fish, average weight. Okay, got it. After rechecking the minimum requirements, now let's accept the request. Click accept button to take the order. All right, so. Android per box, five boxes, five kg. All right, and we can do this. For the left wall. Every order, Every orders that are still in progress, every orders, each order that are still, that is still, all right, let me not try to correct this. Every orders that are still in progress will appear in this list. Now it's time to start growing your fish. Got it. First, you need to build a pond to put your fish. Click the pond button to start building a pond. Okay. Click the pond soil to start digging an area for your new pond. Please follow the guide provided by the tutorial. Okay, let's check in. Yeah. It would let me build somewhere else. Create a new pond by left click then dragging the mouse on the open area. For now, let's build a build on the area provided by the tutorial. Every action on the farm will need a worker to do it. You can see a work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my, my reading rate level must be too low. A warning sign appears on your new pond. It shows that the pond was still has no water and let's fill the pond with water there are some different water types with different quality make sure you choose the most suitable one for your fish click water button to choose the water type move the cursor over each water to see its detail info but for tutorial the only available type is normal water click normal water deploy the Water by clicking on the pond. Please wait till the worker fills the pond. A new warning sign appears. A little bit too low here. A new warning sign appears in the pond. It shows that there is still no fish there. Now let's deploy some fish into the pond. Click fish button to start choosing fish type. Move the cursor over any fish types to see its name and other details. Because the customer wants some common tilapia, let's choose it. Click common tilapia to start deploying it into the pond. Uh, fish will be deployed in bulk. The number of fish to be deployed per click can be different per fish. Click the pond with the common tilapia tilapia to deploy five of them maximum capacity for every pond is 40 fish for from maximum of three different species now let's fill the pond until it's full deploy five common tilapia again by clicking the pond. now the basic requirements for completing the order is completed there's a problem in the pond, you need to do something quickly so it won't affect the fish's health too much. You can also recognize the problem from the icon sign. For now, let's open the pond detail menu to see it. Click the pond to open its context menu. Click details. There are six statuses for each pond that will affect fish condition. Dissolved oxygen, living space, uh, acoustic, comfort, fish waste free. Food waste free and parasite free. Is this like their requirements and is this where I'm at? Or is this where I'm at and is this the requirements? Maybe this is where I'm at. 
This is like the bare minimum they need. Alright. For each status, there is an arrow below its bar to show the current condition. Alright, that's the current condition. There are also fish icons for every different types of fish in the pond to show its tolerable limit for that particular status. Okay. Cool. I love this little management thing. As you can see, the current living space value is below the tolerable uh, limit of common tilapia. Got it. Living space problem can be solved by either expanding the pond or reducing the number of fish in the pond. For now, let's solve the living space problem by expanding your pond. Click the pond button again to start expanding the pond. To expand a pond, you start draw to draw from any tile inside the pond instead of from an open area. For now, let's just follow the area guide provided by the tutorial. Alright, so you start from any tile inside the pond. Just wait till the workers finished. Like fish, uh, great. Now the living space problem is solved. There are some pond statuses that will be reduced by the fish periodically. Please be aware that an unhealthy pond will damage the fish health. Open the pond detail menu again to see if there is any potential problem. Pond detail menu. Dissolved oxygen, fish waste free, and parasite free are the pond statuses that are reduced constantly by the fish. Move the cursor over each status bar to see more info. All right. So 1.2% an hour has been reduced. Fish waste free. It's going down. And Paris. Okay. If you move the cursor over the dissolved oxygen bar, you can see that the current oxygen per hour value in the pond is negative. You need to step set up an aerator to make the pond make the oxygen value increasing per hour. Click the aerator button to start choosing an aerator. Once you need since you only need a small amount of dissolved oxygen per hour, common tilapia. For, for common tilapia, the small aerator is enough for now. Click it. Aerators must be built on top of water. Some of them, like the small aerators, have to be placed on the water land boundary of the pond. Try to deploy the small aer aerator into the pond. Let's wait for the worker to finish it. Any, all, any types of electrical systems like area need to be provided by electricity sources. Now let's build an electricity source for the new aerator. Their electricity source button. Each electricity source may have different maximum plug for them. For now you need you only need an electricity sources with one plug. So this has one slot. Okay. For now, you only need an electricity sources. <laughs> I wonder who wrote this. Click small generator to choose it. Circle around the electricity sources. Shows its area of effect. Make sure small aerator is inside it. Now deploy the small generator on the land besides the area. Okay, let's wait for the worker to finish. Plugged it in. You can also add water filter after the tutorial is over to increase the fish waste free and parasite free value in the pond. Water filter, okay. Now you have to wait till the fish are ready to harvest. The worker will help you to feed the fish and refuel the generator automatically. Speed up the, the game speed by clicking fast forward button. 
These wait until the fish are ready to harvest. The worker will automatically feed the fish and refuel the electricity source. This is like the fish waste and parasite percentage. But we can't do anything, it looks like. The worker will automatically feed the fish and fill the fish resource. Finally, some of your fish are ready to harvest. Let's catch them to complete the order. Okay. Click the pond, then click on harvest all. Are you sure you want to harvest all the fish from this pond? Yes. Let's harvest all. Harvesting all the fish. All the harvested fish will be stored into the storage. Open the storage menu to see. To fulfill the order, drag the fish box to the order list. Make sure the fish type, minimum weight, and minimum quality are correct. Okay. Move and release the fish box on the order list. Great, the order is now fulfilled. Click it again to get a reward and finish the order. Congratulations, you fin you have finished your first order. By completing an order, you will also get XP to increase your farm level. Farm level will be used to unlock many things in the game. You can also see your progress on the journey menu here. So this is all the stuff I unlock as I level up. The current version of this uh, tutorial is now finished. We will make sure to add more things in the future. Good luck. Tutorial finished. All right. So, check our mail first. We need Nile tilapia. Eight kgs of them. Fish per box. Five foot. Let me just get that going. Um, first, let's put the Nile tilapia in. All right, high density will make them stress and die. So in one pond, limit is 40. I wonder if that limit holds if I expand it. No. What did we need? We got the aerator. The water, it's electricity, water filter. Let's see the details. All right, living space. It's pretty good, everything's pretty good. Use a little bit more, I guess. Living space, parasite free. Yep. Now we got to be careful of our money. We're not rich over here. How much does it cost to dig a new spot? Do we live one space or two spaces? Maybe one space is enough. So the cost was up. I'm gonna have to build more, so let me just go ahead and build more. So per tile it's ten dollars. Let me try to make a small one here and make that regular fish. Mozambique tilapia.
29 days, 8 kgs of okay, nice. I think they're gonna need a little bit more space. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's a couple more. Speed it up a little bit. Mozambique tilapia. So first I'm gonna put the fish in. I'm gonna let them struggle a little bit. Then we're gonna set up all the necessary things for them. Let's take a rest. the details okay living space is good powers are free this is going down this is a negative or maybe it's going to change now that i've installed the equipment yeah it's getting a little bit better, a bit better. These are ready to harvest, but you do benefit a little by letting it grow, letting them grow a bit. So let's try to let them grow to adulthood. We got more male here. How does that make tilapia? Okay. Accept that. Another Mozambique tilapia. Except that, okay. So, it's very rapid expansion. Details. Let me build another pond here. A lot of Mozambique tilapia. I'm gonna fill that thing up. Let's see, these levels are, yep, yeah, looking good, looking good. So that's the waste and that's the filtration, so we have good filtration. Blue tilapia. Okay. Nautilapias. I'm gonna let them grow. I think we do benefit a lot by allowing them to grow. And we do have some cash. And 
Yeah, these costs are gonna add up. I think this is a good little system we got going here. Start clearing out the area. Cut that out later. Let's get some space going. Electricity, need water. Aerator, need filter. Fish, we need the blue tilapia, right? Living space is just okay. I'm gonna leave it like that. And actually, oh, we're gonna have to start selling soon. Tilapia. Accept that. Another blue tilapia, except that. Okay. So we're running low on funds, so I'm gonna have to harvest some of these things. Mozambique tilapia. <laughs> Let me pause this one. Hang up. Now you're looking really nice and big. I want it out and nice and big. Uh, wasn't big to lap you. Keep going. In this space, we need to look to lap you. So that's 11, 19. Let's make this, let, let this go to 19. But I think the, like the boxes have something to do with it as well. Look at this. Almost in the hole. Harvest this soon. This one's almost at level four, it's pretty good. Okay. Harvest all. Do have some, but just mile. Oh, these, these are common. So, Mozambique. Medium generator, nice. Here we go. 13 kg of Mozambique. New type of commodity, whatever that is. There's a new special order for you because you got a new commodity. And blue tilapia right here. Alright. Or uh mild tilapia. Mozambique. Okay, so now for snakehead. That's another new find. For snakehead. Like we made a lot of money there. Fish go bad. Average quality 10%. Let's go ahead and sell this. Or actually, let's wait and see if the quality goes down or anything. Maybe we're just freezing it, you know? No. We got a lot of orders for the blue lapia. Let's watch them grow. Let's watch them grow a bit. 
I have a lot of blue tilapia. This is. It might fulfill. This might fulfill if we let it grow enough. Started on the forest snake. We need one, uh, 10 kg of forest naked. I would like you to deliver it in 31 days. Uh, I need 6 kg of Nile tilapia. Okay. for snakehead. Okay. Let's buy that license. Medium generator. Alright, what do we need for snakehead? Zambique. So the details on this living space is okay. It's all oxygen. Maybe. We need more snakehead. Okay. So now that these have hit level four, and I think they're adulthood. Yeah, they're almost, they're just about adults. I think they're going to be probably growing a lot slower. Definitely growing a lot slower. Snakehead Merle. Okay. Alright, let's harvest this. I don't think we can let it go to level 5, that's gonna take too long. I'm gonna harvest that and then we get Snakehead Merle. storage a lot of Nile tilapia. And let's see, this was 25 quality. Yeah, quality stays the same, it looks like. Blue tilapia, we can have more blue tilapia. for these blue tilapias, if this can hit 20, we should be okay. Snake it more. Alright, so. It's already in We are doing okay, so we can hire someone that has some good skill. This guy's really good with the environmental maintenance. So 
this guy's pretty expensive. Norm. This guy has more speed, that's really nice. Speed, this guy has more stamina. Huh. Stamina. You get like a lot more stamina here, but for 130 more. And this is a nice sweet spot here. There's high sparrow. Help us out here. How's that little lop you're doing? Uh, by the way. This guy is not so good with environmental maintenance, so we'll take him out of there. Or a snakehead. Let's try to get these to at least. Oh. Oxygen. It has two slots. Does it cost less though? Yeah, it costs less. It has two slots. So. Same amount. And sell that. Then make that. And then we will need more air, don't they? Yep. Another air reader over there. It should connect. electricity there's the wiring yep connects quality is going down because the oxygen this should be going up soon though I believe this one should have the same problem. So, let's do the same thing. I think it's indicating that the quality is going down with these arrows in here. Need more filtration. All right, what do we have here? Emperor Snakehead, or so these guys. I'm gonna wait for them to hit level 4, then I'll sell these off. We have a few days left. Unless we need to, to like, uh, really sell them quickly. The living space is just okay.
make some space here. Yeah, I don't think I want to make it like single tile. Water in. Look at all these orders. 18 days left. I, I, these guys are almost ready. So I'm, as soon as they hit level four, I'm gonna harvest these guys. Need Emperor Snakehead. I'm gonna leave it at 32. squared. We should be able to put the rest in then. Let me space it just enough. Oh, okay. Now, they all hit level 4. Let me harvest and sell these guys off. Also, Common tilapia and Mozambique tilapia. Yeah, this is why I held on to these Mozambiques. I got one kg on. These are Nile. So they're going common tilapia. Got a lot of them to sell. These are almost level 4, let me hold on to these for a bit. These Mozambiques. Might as well harvest them and sell them so we have more money. Or we go on a negative balance here. Okay. Mozambiques. That gives us a little bit more money for operating expenses. And we can import to get the bigger aerators. So that's 1.5 oxygen per hour. This is 2.5. Okay. Upkeep is double though. So the cost. I guess you save on space because. Having two small aerators actually gets you more. Or the energy cost is also a little bit better. I'm just put oh these are big as hell. 
the unsightly. actually reach that now we need to produce more right got a lot of blue tilapia let's just try to sell these off Four snakehead orders, four snakehead eighteen. Common tilapia. This was not plugged in. I guess they can't reach it to plug it in. Maybe. There it is. Let me plan this out here, 7 by 7 
Yep, a little bit of room to move. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one smaller. Two squares, 49 squares, 49 squares. Emperor Snakehead. Tilapia. I have a lot of those. Northern snakehead. Born a snakehead. Okay. So. Borna, we need eight. Northern, we need six. Thank you. 